Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell or press the channel and if you ever want to miss a video of mine. Um, so today's video is going to be a video that I have done before. Um, I've done it actually two times I think in like 2020. Um, I think I, I've, I've done this video a lot but um, it's going to be with two different hamsters um, and I don't think I'm going to do the mice because I don't really have anything to spot clean in their cage but today I'm going to be spot cleaning my cages because I feel like it's really nice to have these videos for other people that don't really know how to clean a cage. Now I'm not saying that you don't know how to clean your hamster's cage. I'm kind of saying it as I don't change out all my hamsters bedding. I add new bedding and I take out bedding but I never take out all of it and throw that all away and add in new. I do that with my mice because my mice have a lot of hanging toys that have their scent all over them and like just in general all of their toys have a lot of their scent on it and um so they really don't care if I take out all their bedding but with hamsters I, I just really wouldn't recommend it and it's kind of a waste of bedding if you are doing that and I used to do that. Uh, some hamsters are dirtier than others so you might have to do that but with mine I don't so today is going to be a tour of my hamsters cages and also a spot cleaning video so mostly all I have to spot clean is their sand which is usually all I have to spot clean in general so let's get to it I think first we're going to start with my hamster Eleanor um, which I will pop up a picture of Eleanor and then then we're going to go on to Ivy's so um all right, so, so yeah, just the other day, I actually changed her whole entire stand like this. That's why it's not really... All right, I don't bad. know why I had such a trouble explaining it. I really didn't even explain it, but basically what I meant by that is she did have half Aspen and half Sand, um, but Eleanor just was not using her Aspen, and I like to give my hamsters different textures, at least four to five different textures in their cage, but Eleanor just was not even using her um, Aspen like in any different type of way so I was like mm, when she didn't live with me in her critter trail um, she didn't even barely get any bedding so I was like mm, I might as well just give her all sand so that is what I did <laughs> I also did just clean it like the other day so it's really not that dirty but we're still gonna do it <laughs> another thing with hamsters is if you have sand you do not need to take out all your sand and add in all new sand literally all you have to do is do what I'm doing just sift through the sand to get out any pee marks or any whatever also bedding if you guys don't like bedding in your hamster sand this is a great way to take it out because you can see that I'm getting a lot of bedding unnecessary bedding So she does go to, if you give your hamster sand, most likely they are going to go to the bathroom in it. Um, so she does pee and poop in her sand, which I actually really appreciate and I, I love it. little tour so here is her sand pit um, it does go up a little bit her water leaks quite a bit so I do have this little bowl I usually clean out any water that gets into there because I don't want her drinking that water since it's going out of it and yeah it's just not the cleanest way to do that but um, this is her cage she has a bunch of cork logs um, she actually has two cork logs she has a PV PVC, I don't know what they're called, but she has one of those, um, grapevine wood, this is one of those Ikea, like, I don't know what they're called, that's her food dish, which I scatter feed her and feed her in, um, her dish, so, yeah, she does have that, um, I do need to take out her Christmas 
This is also from Ikea, a little tile. And then she does have a bunch of chews, but they are getting buried. Like, as you can see, this one, that one, and that one are not their, her favorites, but like, I do have wood pieces, um, but they're just getting buried, so. Yeah, that is Eleanor's cages, cage. Um, it's not my favorite, but it is really pretty. I do want to change around her cage here soon. Um, but yeah, that's her cage. All right, moving on to Ivy's cage, which is my favorite cage that I have for a lot of reasons. One, her cage is at the perfect level for me. Like it's not too high, it's not too low. Like I literally, I can just go like that. Like I'm, I'm above it. But with Eleanor's cage, cage and the mice, kind of, I have to be on a stool, especially Eleanor's cage. I, I need to have a stool to get into her cage. So that is really uncomfortable, but I love Ivy's cage for very many reasons. And also I love the look of her cage way better than any of my other ones. Actually, that's not true because I do really love my mice's cage, but I love my mice's cage for my mice, not for hamster. Now with Ivy, I'm not 100% sure. She doesn't usually go pee in her sand, which is a little annoying because she usually goes pee in her chamber house over here. Um, she does have a whimsy that she's had for literally like so long and this is all she's done on it. Like the other night I heard her chewing on it and she's really not getting anywhere. Also, um, we went ceramic painting, which I love ceramic painting if you guys don't know. I absolutely love it. We have a place kind of close to us and I just love it there. So we went for my sister's birthday because we went for my birthday and I made this for Ivy because I love giving her things on top of here. I have like a bunch of them, but that's not the point of this video. wondering why I didn't give Eleanor fresh new sand is um like I said I just changed her sand I just added in a lot of sand so I don't add in or take out really any sand most of the time but I am going to feed for them um, now Ivy has a 11 point no I think it's just 11 inch wheel she is a also female dwarf hamster more time cleaning that than the Eleanor's. So here's her sand. This is my favorite part. Again, I do need to take out that. Um, this always has very fun things. As you can see down here, I have a bunch of different types of one. I actually painted this one the other day. Um, I've had it for a very long time, but I repainted it. Um, so yeah, I have a bunch of those and I love to put them on top of there. She has a grapevine piece another acorn. I kind of took away a little bit of the aspen, but it's okay. So yeah, that is that side. Um, one of those pipes. That's her tunnel starter. Here is a um, cork piece. She has another one of those terracotta pots like Ivy's or like Eleanor's. If you can't tell, I have certain things I like to put in my hamster's cages. Um, but yeah, this, I don't know. Every time I try and push it up, she just pushes it back down. I can hear her in there, but we're going to go and feed them. So yeah, this is Ivy's cage. I love her cage look from like that. I do very much so enjoy the Ikea Diloth. A lot of people have different opinions on the Ikea Diloth and obviously that is so normal. Um, I'm sprinkling her food around a little right now. So, um, and obviously that is so normal to have opinions on a certain type of cage, but I feel like a lot of people like bash the Ikea Diloth because of 
a lot of reasons like it's too skinny um but there it's a thousand and eight square inches and like for the price of it it is such a good cage i personally very much so like it a key and loft especially the size of it like i just i like being taller than my cages than having to go all the way up there so let's go feed her for the most part anymore i do scatter feed all of my hamsters um i will still leave some of their food in um in the bowl just because for my mice i do not have a bowl for them anymore um it's just it's a lot more better to just scatter feed them honestly it keeps them busy and yeah so i don't even have a bowl for my mice anymore so <laughs> now i wish i could um put my phone in the mice's cage but they are always up i feel like they're never sleeping so hi baby but at least you get to see one animal in this video also with them i do just like put it on these types of things hi fill their waters but that's not really entertaining honestly feeding them isn't the most entertaining also i like how i did this in the first spot cleaning video but that is me spot cleaning my animals cages um i didn't have to spot clean the mices obviously but um the hamsters i did so i hope you guys enjoyed i know i didn't really tell you guys how to do it but i feel like spot cleaning it's kind of easy um all i'm trying to get across you don't need to fully clean out your animals cages that's just it you don't have to with my mice i do but they're a different animal than hamsters so obviously they're gonna have different care not plant care But yeah, so that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helps you guys a little bit. Um, sorry for this lighting. It's like only on my face. This is like getting overexposed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. It's 108. Oh, it's 100. Oh my God, there's people. Oh my God, there's people.